Deeks, thank you. So, for the first time in nearly 40 years, Dad's Army, room at the bottom, in colour. Who do you think you are kidding, Mr Hitler, if you think we're on the run? We are the boys who will stop your little game. We are the boys who will make you think again. Cause who do you think you are kidding, Mr Hitler, if you think old England's done? Mr Brown goes off to town on the A21, but he comes home each evening and he's ready with his gun. So who do you think you are kidding, Mr Hitler, if you think old England's done? Come in. Oh. Ah. Evening, sir. Evening. Uh, where's uh, Mr. Mannering? Well, I'm afraid he's, uh, we've got the auditors at the bank, and I'm afraid he's been delayed there to, uh, you know, just to clear out one or two points. Oh, I see. Well, I'm afraid I can't wait for him. I've got two other units to visit. Uh, perhaps you could give him a message for me. Oh, yes, certainly, sir, of course, yes. Yeah, it's a bit awkward, really. I don't quite know how to start. Well, uh, would you care to sit down? Thank you. Um... <clears throat> Tell me, um, how long has Mr. Mannering been a captain? Well, ever since we started. You mean since you were local defence volunteers? Yes, that's right, yes, yes. Well, there are no commissions in the LDV. Oh, well, they weren't, weren't there? No, of course not. Of course, it's only February this year that officers in the Home Guard were granted a commission. How did he become a captain in the first place? Well, I... I, I think he sort of um, made himself one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did he? Yes. No, I've often wondered why, as a captain, he was only in charge of a platoon. Is that wrong? <laughs> well, it is usual to have a lieutenant in charge of a platoon. I see. Mind you, there's some pretty rum ranks in the Home Guard, but only just beginning to sort them out. <laughs> so, be that as it may, I'm very sorry and all that, but he never was a captain, so I'm afraid we'll have to take one of his pips off. Oh. Would you tell him when he comes in? Yes, yes, I'll do that, yes. Oh, you might also tell him that uh, I'll confirm it in writing in the next few days. Right, yes. Oh, well. And the lieutenant. Hmm. Fancy that. <laughs> Sergeant, here's your cup of char. Ah, my dear Walker, thank you. How lovely. Thank you very much indeed. You look like a cat that's got a cream. What's up? Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, by the way, I've got your, uh, your watch this night. Oh, Twelve and a kick, all right? Thank you very much indeed, Walker. That's lovely. <laughs> <laughs> You do not look at me, Sergeant. Well, well, you know how it is. <laughs> oh, yes. Hmm. Yes. Oh, no. Henry. <clears throat> Fred, I've got some rather bad news for you. <laughs> Now, here, Mannering, uh, you've got to brace yourself for a shock, you know. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Mm. I'm afraid, Mannering, uh, one of those little pips has got to come off. <laughs> oh, yes. Good evening, Lieutenant Mannering. <laughs> How are you? Well... Hello, Mr. Oh. <clears throat> well... We're very pleased to hear that I got the drill sergeant for us. Oh, yes, sir. Uh, what, what drill sergeant? Don't you ever remember anything? I said that the platoon was getting sloppy. Anyway, he's coming down on Friday to give us an hour's drill. I think he'd be a good man. He's from the guards. What on earth have you got in your head? <laughs> Barry, sir, I mean, it rather suits me, don't you think? <laughs> well, you're not supposed to wear that. What, I, sir? No, those are for officers only. Take it off at once. Can't go about wearing things you're not entitled to. Home Guard's now an organised fighting unit, you know. The days are gone when people could just promote themselves to any fancy rank. It's <laughs> <laughs> well, funny you should say that, sir, because Captain Bailey said it just a moment ago when he called here. Oh, he's been here, has he? Yes, he has. He couldn't stop there, sir. What do you want? Usual red tape nonsense, I suppose. Yes, yes. He just wanted you to take off one of your pips. Oh, is that all? <laughs> You wanted what? <laughs> well, he says, sir, that you're not actually a captain. You're really only a lieutenant. 
You try to be funny, Wilson. No, sir. No. <laughs> All right, soon settle this. Upstart. Give me Eastgate, 166, please. It's a pity he's got nothing better to do. It's a pity you've got nothing better to do than listen to him. <laughs> you know, sometimes, Wilson, I think you've got a very peculiar... Uh, uh, hello. It's Mannering here. Captain Mannering. Warmington on sea. Now, look, I, I'm very sorry to bother you, but there's, there's obviously been some mistake. Captain Bailey was in here earlier, and he left some peculiar garbled uh, story to, uh, to, my, to my sergeant here. It, it's quite possible he could have got it wrong. <laughs> no, something absurd about taking a pip off. Huh? <laughs> yes, I thought so. <laughs> Thank you very much. Bye. Right, Wilson. What's the game? Game, sir? Yes, the game, man. Telling me that I'm not a captain anymore. Making me ring up GHQ. What sort of a fool do you think I am? Well, who did you talk to there, sir? I talked to the sergeant, who obviously knew nothing at all about it. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm waiting for your explanation. Well, I... I, I... You know, Wilson, I'm forced to say that... You've confirmed a suspicion that's been in my mind for some weeks now. You're jealous of me. <laughs> jealous? Oh, don't think I haven't noticed those glances at my hat. <laughs> that's why you bought a berry, isn't it? To keep up with me. Don't fool me, you know, not for a moment. You'd give anything to be in my shoes, wouldn't you? I assure you, sir, you're, you're quite, quite wrong, sir. I'm not in the home guard for the glory I get out of it as an officer, you know. I just as soon serve as a sergeant or even a humble private. These pips don't mean that to me. Excuse me, sir. Hello? Uh, Warrington, I'll see you, Home Guard. Oh, dear. Just a moment. It's, uh, it's for you, sir. Yeah. Manningham. Oh, hello, sir. How are you? Yes, I did ring earlier. Yes, I spoke to the sergeant. He'd only just come on duty. What? Well, I think quite far. He hadn't been told what. <laughs> Yes, sir. <laughs> it should. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm so I'm sorry, sir. I really am. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Can I help in any way? <coughs> no, I don't think so. Thank you, Godfrey. Well, Taylor is in my line, sir. Don't forget, I was in the gentleman's outfitting department of civil service stores for 35 years, sir. I don't think that would be very much use to me, Godfrey. Well, at least you might let me try. Uh, uh, what does the trouble seem to be? I'm taking a pip off each shoulder. Oh, yes. I, I just pulled these bits of cotton out. Uh, the trouble is, you can always see the marks where the pip's been. Yes, I know. <laughs> Why are you taking it off, sir? Oh, I can't go into all that now. It's a long story. And, and Godfrey, I'd be very glad if you don't say anything to the men about this. About what, sir? Oh, never mind. You can go. <laughs> go home, Godfrey, go home. Uh, excuse me, sir. It's nearly time to dismiss the parade. Oh, I, I, I see you've taken them off. Yes, yes, I've taken them off. <laughs> <laughs> now, look, I don't want anything said to the men about this yet. Well, they're, they're about to find out about it, sir. Then I shall have to devise some reason for them not to find out, shall oh. I? Oh, you must have been seeing things, Mr. Godfrey. No, no, I helped him. Maybe he's been promoted. That's it, that's it. <laughs> Major, that's the next step up. You're taking them three pips off to put the crown up. Oh, blimey, don't say that. He was pompous enough as a captain. <laughs> uh, come along, please. Uh, I've got to say... Uh, yes, uh, right. Property at ease, everybody. Right. I can't wait to see what he's got on his shoulders. Walk up. <laughs> Is. Right, platoon. Platoon to ten. Shut! Permission to speak, sir. Yes, Corporal. Why are you wearing that shoulder protector, sir? Is that standard dress from now on? No, it isn't, Corporal. I'm just testing them out. Anything wrong with that? No, no, sir. I'd like it. I'd like it, sir. <laughs> now, I'd just like to have a word or two about Sunday's exercise. Excuse me, sir. Yes, you can't take the parade with your badges around covered up. 
You've told it yourself many a time, it's not the man we salute, but the King's Commission. <laughs> He's quite right, you know, sir. I mean, how can we salute you if we can't see your badge of rank? You'll have to take it off. <laughs> <clears throat> Very well. You might as well know the truth. Mr. Mannering, sir. Mr. Mannering, sir. Sir. Mr. Mannering, sir. What is sir? it, Bill? The Bismarck's been sunk, sir. What? What? The, Germ the German battleship Bismarck, it's been sunk. It's just come through on the wireless. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll tell his reverence, sir. Yes. I don't know how he'll take it. Dismiss. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good news, isn't it, Wilson? Yes, it certainly is, sir. The Navy seems to have saved your bacon. <laughs> Ah, yes. Henry, Mr. Mannering not here yet? No, I'm afraid not. He's still, uh, he's still with the auditors, I'm sorry, sir. Oh, pity. Yeah. Look, how did he take last night? Take what? His pips off, man. Well, he, uh, well, he just cut them off. <laughs> with a penknife. Uh, no, 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 no. How did it affect him? Well, he was totally cut up, of course. I mean, his whole life is the home guard. Yes. <laughs> yes, I realise that, Sergeant. Makes my task even more difficult. What task? Well, when uh, Mannering phoned up GHQ last night, we began to look into things, and uh, it appears that he hasn't even been commissioned as a lieutenant. Not precisely, but I... <laughs> I'm afraid I don't quite understand. Well, it's perfectly simple. He hasn't got any rank at all. Therefore, he has no authority over this platoon. Oh, look, it's all in that letter. Give it to him when it comes, will you? Right, yes. Oh, by the way, in the meantime, uh, you'll be in charge. <laughs> Until I can make other arrangements. <laughs> oh, uh, good news about the Bismarck, wasn't it? Yes, awfully good news, yes. Very good. <laughs> Think I'll go out of the other door. Right. Give him that letter when he comes. Yes, 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 <laughs> Hello, Wilson. Oh, hello, sir. Hello. <laughs> Everything all right? Yes, quite all right. Yes, yes. <laughs> Get the men together, will you? I want to talk to them. Yeah, well, I, I think before you do anything, sir... No, I, no, 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 he's putting it off. Uh, the men have just got to know that I'm now a lieutenant. Yes, That's well... That's it. Yes, well... After all, how's not to reason why? Yes, well, before you do anything else, I do think you ought to read this letter from Captain Bailey. He left it here only a few moments ago. he have been here again? Uh, yes, but he couldn't stop, sir. What's the matter with that man? Mm. Anybody think he didn't want to see me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, excuse me, I think if you don't mind, sir, I'll, uh, I'll, um, just go and do something else. Yes, all right. All right. <laughs> My God, he shot himself. <laughs> I'm sorry about that bang, Mr. Wilson, but Mr. Godfrey had one up the spout and it went off by accident. <laughs> but it's all right. Nobody was hurt. It's quite all right. Nobody was hurt, Mr. Mannering. No nobody was... <laughs> The matter with? Well, well, he's had a bit of a shock, Jonesy. Now, perhaps you could uh, help me get Mr. Mannering down into the seat. I never thought rifle fire would affect him like that. <laughs> I can't get over it. Mr. Mannering's never an officer after all. Not at all. He's not an officer at all. I wonder how he's taking it. He was awful at the bank today. Didn't come out of the office once. Mr. Wilson had to push the post underneath the door. Oh. <laughs> Poor old man, we're going to miss him, you know. Ah, it serves him right. He's, he's been damping problems for a whole year, strutting about the place like a peacock. There you all are. Good. Uh, right, now, just uh, fall in, will you? In three ranks. Come on. Right, right, right. Come on, right. Doc. Come on, uh, walk up. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Come on, now, just listen to me. Now, before, uh, before we go on with any uh, <laughs> rifle... rifle exercise. I think I should tell you that I've been put in charge of this uh, platoon until such time as they appoint a new officer. Does that mean you're going to be leading us on the exercise on Sunday? What? Well, yeah, yes, I'm afraid it does, yes. What's going to happen to Mr. Mannering, then? Well, Mr. Mannering is no longer a member of this platoon. That isn't strictly accurate, Sergeant. What? Go! Cool. When I was first informed that I was no longer to be your commanding officer, 
I must admit that my first reaction was to go away quietly. And then I thought, no, the defence of this town must come first. This country needs every able-bodied man it can get. And I was very proud to lead you as Captain Mannering. I shall be equally proud to march in your ranks as Private Mannering. That's all. <laughs> Never you mind, Mr. Mannering. You'll always be Captain Mannering as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> now you just you just form a little rank beside me, my dear sir. You form a little rank beside me. That was beautiful, that was Mr. Manning, that was beautifully done. That was very, good. very good indeed, sir. Sycophants. You haven't got a rifle, have you? You haven't got a bundle. Uh, no, all right, uh, let me... <laughs> no, that rifle appears. Here you are, sir. Here you are. Now, sir, are you, uh, are you quite sure that you want to go through with this? I thought I'd just made that quite clear, Wilson. Right, right, right. All right, in that case, turn. Turn. You ready, sir? Oh, get on with it. <laughs> turn. Attention! Stand at ease! I used to have that trouble, Mr. Manry. <laughs> I've done a lot of practice and I'm all right now. Yes, all right, yes. All right, yes. Right. Return. Return. Attention! Blast! <laughs> I think you put me off, Mr. Manry. <laughs> No, sir, that was, uh, that was so much better, sir. It wasn't at all. It was all wrong. Do it again, Wilson. All right, return. Return. Stand at. <coughs> return. Stand at. <laughs> just, uh, just wait for it, sir. Wait for it. Return. Stand at. Eat. Return. Return. <laughs> Shut. Took John a whole year to get it right. No mannerings put him back. Just when he started. <laughs> Name's Gregory, drill sergeant. Is the room ready? Ready for what? Drill. I was supposed to give you an hour's drill tonight. I told you he was coming, sergeant. What are you doing? Stop talking in the ranks. Stop talking. Now then, let's have a look at you. Are you sure you wouldn't rather just fall out, sir? Quiet. You need have no fear. What are you doing talking again? And why are you calling him sir? It really is terribly awkward, you know. What is he then? A knight or something? <laughs> Looks like a rough knight to me. <laughs> What's the matter with you lot? And you got no sense of humour? Come on, have a good laugh. Get some air in your lungs. I do a lot of laughing, I do. <laughs> My job is get plenty to laugh about. I should think you lot will give me a few chuckles before the evening's over. What are you laughing at then, lad? I'm not really laughing. It's, a, it's, it's my normal expression. <laughs> Looking at you, I think it's about the only thing that is normal. <laughs> Look to your front, lad. Get your head up. Not that high. Who do you think you are, one of the Bisto kids? <laughs> it's no use looking on the ground. There's nothing down there. I should know I've been all over it. <laughs> what a horrible lot. Ah, you an old soldier, are you? That's right, Sergeant. I've been all through. I'll bet you have. <laughs> I expect you've been through more than I've had hot dinners. Well, Kitchener may need you, but I don't. I mean, I don't know what I'm doing here tonight at all. I should be doing something useful like drilling soldiers. Hey, you. Where do you get that hat? The ha a big one. That hat. The hat. On your head. What? I, 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 I just bought it. Oh, you actually bought it, did you? It's an officer's hat. you got no business wearing an officer's hat. What about this Fred Carnos? Who do you think you are? The boys of the old brigade? Stomach in. Chin in, both of them. <laughs> Why aren't you in the army? I was in the army, I got me ticket. What for? I was allergic to corned beef. <laughs> I thought so, you got malingerer written all over you. You're due for the army soon, ain't you? I want to go in the navy, but me mum says I'm too delicate. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> I am sorry, what is wrong with you, lad? I've got a chest. Oh, really? You look bloody funny with that one, wouldn't you? <laughs> well, I've got a good cure for that. Start running on the spot. Go. Come on. Up, 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 up. You look like some foreign Nancy boy treading grapes. Up, 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 up. Go on, and you. And you. Up, 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 up. Not you. Not you. Up, 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 up. <laughs> but I like it. I like it, son. <laughs> Oh, we got a keen one here, haven't we? 
<laughs> no, you'd better not. I wouldn't like any harm to come to you. You're such a nice old gentleman. You remind me of my granddad. Oh, really? Yes, he died five years ago. <laughs> they dug him up three weeks ago. It looks better than you do now. <laughs> you're going too far, Sergeant. I beg your pardon? I said you're going too far. Do you hear that? It's his bleeding lordship again. He says I'm going too far. Well, you're going too far, but you ain't going to get anywhere. Start running on the spot! Up, 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 up. Just a minute, just a minute. Mr. Manning used to be our officer. Officers, I hate them. I'll give you a wet shirt. Come on, up, 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 up. Help! All that. Send it! Hey! The door! Wait for it, wait for it! The door! Dead! Dead! You're a bit behind, aren't you? You glamorous knight. <laughs> now then, will you stand your attention? I want you to stand up straight, chins in, chest out, stomachs in, something like the seat of your trousers. Excuse me, would you mind repeating that? <laughs> Lo! Um. Now, give it here. Now watch me. And when I've done it, do exactly as I do. Understand? Lo! Um. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, right! <laughs> Slow! And one, two, three, one, two, three, one, right! <laughs> seen anything of the enemy? Not as yet, Mr. Gorson. Well, in that case, before we do anything more, I think perhaps we'd better send out a scout to see if we, <laughs> we don't want to run into an ambush, you see. Yes, I, I'd like to volunteer for that, Mr. Gorson. I'd like to be your scout. Let, let me be your scout. All right, well, very well, then. In that case, if you wouldn't mind, Jonesy, I'd like you to, to run, you see, over there to that little thing, that Humpty thing, you see. Have a good look at it. And if you can't see the East Gate platoon... Yeah, uh, excuse me, Sergeant, hmm? this... It's a South Gate platoon, not the what? East Gate platoon. All right, well, it doesn't matter what it is, does it? But if it's all clear, just give us the signal, will you? And we'll come on. Yeah, very well, Mr. Bosman. So I'll go running up there, and I will go to the Humpty. And if there are no enemy present, I will signal you, and you'll come along on. Oh. Yes, all right, all right, Jensie, all yes. right, you do that. Right, right. Right, off you go. <laughs> I think you should have sent him, Sergeant. Oh, you can't have, you see, oh, he gets so keyed up, you see. I Mr. mean, Mannering, I couldn't stop him. Mr. Mannering wouldn't have done that. Wouldn't he? Oh, Lord. Does everything, doesn't he? Yeah. Go ahead, come on, let's go. Let's go and join him. Come on, uh, Godfrey. Can you manage? I tell Damn. you, if things go on like this, there'll be no platoon left for the new officer to take charge of. The whole thing's falling apart, if you ask me. You hear that, John G? You hear that? Yeah, I heard it. The whole platoon's at rock bottom. Everybody we had, Mr. Mannering back as our officer. Joe, what about it? Well, it's no good looking at me, mate. <laughs> this time I'm stumped. Hey, I've got an idea. But why shouldn't I have one? <laughs>
Dear Sir, permission to write. As an old soldier of 30 years' service and a member of the Royal Antediluvian Order of Buffaloes, may I put in a good word for our late captain? His reduction in rank has had a shattering effect on our morals. <laughs> Dear Sir, as the youngest member of the platoon, I would like to say what a fine soldier, officer and gentleman Mr Mannerin is. Ah. Uh, <laughs> was. <laughs> My mum says... Dear sir, may I most humbly and respectfully beg to place before you the following facts for consideration at your convenience. <laughs> whom it may concern. Mr. Mandarin has always carried out his duty. Dear sir, you ask yours truly, this caper, a slashing our officer, Captain Mannering, down to size, is not much bottle. Third <laughs> is what I says, hoping as finds you as it leaves me, J. Walker Esquire. <laughs> yes, if a couple of bottles of scotch would tip the balance, you're on. <laughs> Here, Jock, aren't you going to write a letter? I'll do it when I get home. I'm not illiterate, you know. I'm perfectly capable of writing a letter all by myself. <laughs> Dear sirs, now that the post of commanding officer for the platoon is vacant, I would like you to consider a certain private who served with distinction during the last conflict. Unfortunately, some understandable jealousy has caused him to be deliberately ignored in the past whenever promotion was due. In spite of all this, I feel I must speak out and reveal his name, which is... Private Fraser. <laughs> Signed, a well-wisher. <laughs> After receiving all these letters from the platoon, GHQ felt duty-bound to grant Mr. Mannering his commission. And in future, the three platoons, Southgate, Eastgate and Warmington-on-Sea, will be formed into a company with Mr. Mannering as second in command and his rank of captain confirmed. No need to overdo it, you know. <laughs> good news, eh, Sergeant? Oh, yes, awfully good. Yes, awfully good. Mm. All the letters were unanimous in their praise for Captain Mannering. Well, perhaps I should say practically unanimous. <laughs> Congratulations, Captain Mannering. Thank you very much, sir. And thank you, men, for your trust and confidence. Aye, aye, sir, you have that. <laughs> May I just assure you that I shall continue to lead you to the best of my ability for as long as my country needs me. That's great, sir. Great news for all of us. Right, dismiss. <laughs> Good luck to you, sir. Good luck to thank you. Thank you very much, Paul. Congratulations. Home, welcome home, thank Captain Man, and welcome home. Thank you, Don't God. forget, sir, any time you need a little something, tip me the wink. Know what I mean? Thank you very much. <laughs> Ever so please, sir, and me, ma'am. Thank you very much. <laughs> and if I get sir, if ever you mind you to make up another lance corps for all, I'm perfectly willing. No, I'll be proud to serve under ye. I'll bear that in mind, further. Yes. Well, a nasty business, but all's well that ends well. Yes, must say it did have its funny side, sir. You know, when I when I got home, I laughed and laughed. <laughs> <laughs> Really? Yeah. To think that all the time that you were running things, <laughs> you had absolutely no authority over us at all. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> None whatever, had I. Yeah. Hadn't even got the authority to promote you to sergeant, had I. <laughs> Still, I'm sure everything will sort itself out eventually. In the meantime, perhaps you care to borrow my pen knife. <laughs>
The complete Dad's Army collection is now available in this BBC DVD box set. And the Dad's Army theme continues next on BBC Two with the people who made it such a favourite, telling us how it all came together in Comedy Connections.